What the hell happened here? Looks like these men were still breathing pretty recently. This doesn't bode well for Katsura. We need to find him now. Right. I'll start over there. So much of the town has been burned down. So many homes. We're meant to be fighting for a better country, but this is anything but. Ask our friend here what that was about. Thank the stars. Glad it was you two who showed up. Katsura, I had a feeling that was you. What are you doing in that getter? The Choshu men feared the worst. I've been looking into the Shogunate's next moves, but I've let down my comrades by not being able to fight with them. Genzui, especially. It wasn't for nothing, though. I got my hands on some vital information. The Shogunate are going to send in a force to deal with Choshu soon. The Shogunate is making a move. Hmm. They're seizing their chance to take the Choshu out once and for all. Indeed. And they're expecting the Satsuma to provide the best part of the force. Them again? But weren't they planning to revolt against the government? Well, the Satsuma are making a show of compliance to the Shogunate, which will spell the end of the Choshu. Any bright ideas? Hmm. You know, I've always wondered why the Choshu and Satsuma don't just make an alliance. You're the only ones with enough power to bring about change in this country. If you joined forces, You'd be unstoppable. You're not wrong. It would be incredible. Could it be done? But the Satsuma and Choshu are sworn enemies. We cannot simply form an alliance. That's right. Focus on the past and you lose sight of the future. To make a real change, you're going to have to make some hard choices. <sighs> I see what you're saying. Then we should ride to Kyomizadera Temple. Takamori Saiko of the Satsuma should be there at present, as far as I'm aware. He's the commander of the Satsuma forces right now. If we can persuade him, this plan might have legs. Let's meet at Kyomizadera Temple! Could I leave it to you two to broach the subject? 
I doubt he'll be in the mood to listen if an enemy like me shows up out of nowhere. No problem. We'll handle this. So, Saigo's in this temple, right? Ah, oh, that's right. The former chief priest of this place, Gesho, was said to be close with Saigo, and I hear today is the anniversary of his death. Hmm, okay. Time to head inside. We'll get kicked out if we just rush in. Better to wait for the right moment. The grounds are pretty big, so we should prioritize locating Saigo. I stand at the ready! I'm ready for action. <laughs> So good.
In order to lead the expedition against Choshu, what do you intend to do, Saikov? Well, 
I'll leave you to ponder it. Some solitude may bring you clarity. How dare anyone threaten me on this most sacred day? I just want to talk! Don't fight! to ignore the Shogun's direct orders. Preposterous. There is nothing I can do. Forget the Shogun, Eight. I want to speak to you, not them. It was the Choshu who drew their swords first. And considering their behavior in Kyoto, how can we leave them be? Look, I understand Satsuma's perspective, mm. but have you thought about our future? What do you mean? Mm. You have to. If Satsuma and Choshu join forces, there'll be nothing to fear. Your alliance will be the bedrock of a new Japan. You want us to march alongside our sworn enemies? I simply cannot see it. And yet, it can be so. If we should will it. But first, I should apologize. I am sorry. I could not stop the conflict earlier. <gasps> Katsura, the Choshu? What are you wearing? Oh, ignore these filthy rags. I assure you, my aspirations remain unsullied. As my associates have said, we must put aside our differences, even if it means moving heaven and earth. We must transform Japan. Katra, I... I hear you. I accept your proposal. <clears throat> Q. 
Gesho too would have been glad to put an end to the bloodshed. Then it's settled. The Josho and Sazuma who join forces, and we shall be the ones to see it through. You know, I've heard that in the West you're meant to hold hands and shake them on occasions like this. Go on. Try it. Sego, I look forward to working with you. Takamori Saigo, swayed by Ryoma, defies the Shogun's orders and calls off the Satsuma assault on the Choshu. This episode helps the Satsuma and Choshu draw closer, and they conclude an alliance aimed at overthrowing the Shogunate. Don't you remember what I told you back then? That I had a dream as big as the damn ocean! <laughs> this way. Okay, plan. Ah, uh, this is a real mess. <laughs> After being attacked at the Terada Inn, Ryoma Sakamoto took refuge amongst the Satsuma clan. Might not be so lucky next time. I'm going to have to leave things to you for now. I'm counting on you. Hmm. 